More news this evening. October is Filipino American History Month and a Filipino American labor leader who alongside Cesar Chavez, Dolores Huerta and Philip Veracruz is finally getting a mural solely dedicated to him. 23 ABC's Kristen Vartan has the story behind this man and the mural in Delano. That picture is significant because it reminds me of my childhood and what my dad taught me to never give up. They say pictures are worth a thousand words. This one is a whole history book. Larry Itliong Road to Equality and Justice, a new mural wrapping around the exterior of the Morningside Elementary School Library in Delano, will represent scenes from one Filipino American labor leader's lifetime. And then coming to America and how he found out that um, people were treated unfairly, you know, in the fields. And he is a type of person that, you know, wanted to fight for the rights of humans. Larry Itliong's daughter, Patty Serda, is the librarian at the school. It started as her vision to name the library she has worked at for 21 years after the man who sparked her love for reading, as you'll see in the painting behind her. Then she says it turned into the first mural in Delano dedicated to him at the heart of where Serda said he helped pave the way for Filipino Americans. Helping bring that legacy to life on the canvas, artist Eliseo Art Silva. It's really uh, the uh, Watsonville anti-Filipino riots, which had a martyr, Fermin Tabora, in 1929, right the, uh, the same year he came to the United States. And that, that was the trigger for all the unions, all the Filipino American uh, 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 workers organized and culminated in the Coachella Valley strike in 1965 and then the Leno Grape strike. So Larry was the one who brought it to the uh, final chapter into victory. And LSAO was not the only artist that had a hand in this mural right behind me. Morningside Elementary students past and present made their own contributions. I mean, they see it differently without bias and without what do you call agenda. <laughs> <laughs> they don't have any agenda except to tell a story. Art Silva says the children helped him narrow down the narrative. They drew, literally, from this book right here and their own imagination, eventually assisting him with painting the wall through a parachute cloth method. The mural will be unveiled on Larry Ithliong's birthday and Larry Ithliong Day, October 25th. Sarada hoping students feel seen and remember the history whenever they see the mural. Students at my school, they know everything about my dad. We teach them every year and um, so they're all pretty excited. When they come back on Monday, they're going to be extremely proud just like I am. In Delano, Kristen Vartan, 23 ABC News, connecting you.